Kia ora, Gel Sam, welcome. My name's Kay Webster, I'm one of the priests here at Wellington Cathedral. What a pleasure it is uh, to join with you in worship today. Uh, today's service comes from a New Zealand prayer book, He Karakea Mehenare o Aotearoa. If you have a copy of that prayer book, we uh, begin on page 69. If you don't have a copy in front of you, don't worry, just let the words flow over you. Take the opportunity to pray, to hear God's word, to receive God's love, to accept God's challenge, and to be sent into God's world to be hands and feet. Uh, so let us uh, begin in our prayer books on page 69. We will praise the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. From the Book of Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Your faithfulness, O Lord, is great. You are all that I have, therefore I will wait for you. You, Lord, are good to those who wait for you, to all those who seek you. It is good to wait in patience for the salvation of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The psalm for the day is Psalm 123. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of your servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of the maid look to the hand of their mistress. So our eyes look to you, O Lord, until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have more than enough contempt. Our soul has more than its fill of scorn for those who are at ease, of contempt of the proud. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We're continuing to read through the letter uh, to the Hebrews. Uh, we have just in the last few days written, uh, we have read through um, a list of ancestors of our faith, of Rahab and of Moses' mother, of Moses, of Abraham, of Joseph, of the many people that by faith have acted. And so here we are picking up in chapter 11, verse 32. The question is asked, what more should I say? For time would fail me to tell you of Gideon and Barak and Samson, of David and Samuel and of the prophets and of the woman of our faith too, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promises, shut the mouths of lions, quenched raging fires and escaped the edge of the sword won strength out of weakness and became mighty in war and put foreign armies to flight. Women who received their dead by resurrection, others were tortured, refusing to accept release in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others suffered mocking and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned to death, they were sawn in two, they were killed by the sword, they went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, persecuted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains, in caves and in holes in the ground. Yet all these, though they were commended for their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God provided something better so that they would not apart from us, be made perfect. Therefore, we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely. Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, 
who for the sake of joy that has been set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame and taking his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. That's our invitation to look towards Jesus. I don't think we need to say any more. But let us sing this ancient song, the song of the church. We pray, we praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you, the noble fellowships of prophets praise you, the white-robed armies of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, the Holy Spirit, our advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became incarnate, you set us free and humbly accepted the virgin's womb. You overcame the skin the you overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. Bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us spend some time in intercession. Let us pray for the church and for the world, giving thanks for God's goodness. We pray for ourselves, for our ministries, for those that we love, for those that we struggle to love. We pray for this cathedral parish for the, all those that offer ministry here. We pray for the choir and for the bell ringers, for those that greet, for those that open your word, for those that video services, for those that type you sheets, all of those things, O oh Lord. We pray for the ministry team here, especially for Katie, We pray for our neighbourhoods. We pray for those that are vulnerable in our neighbourhoods. For the youngest and for the oldest. For those that live with fragile health. We pray for those in our neighbourhoods who appear to be powerful. Loving God, bring humility into their lives. May they seek to be people of wisdom and of just justice. We pray for our city, whether that is Wellington or elsewhere. We pray for the leadership. We pray that wisdom and justice may be the focus of each of their decisions. Loving God, we pray for our nation. We pray for those who feel as though the government is not serving them well. We pray for those that are struggling because of increased costs of petrol and of groceries. We pray for those that are living with housing instability, that are moving from one friend's couch to another or from one doorway to another. 
those that are sleeping rough. And we pray for places of conflict in your world. Loving God, we continue to weep over what is happening in Ukraine. May the leaders of the countries of this world have insight. May they sit around a table and keep debating rather than sitting with a gun in their hand with the detonator of a bomb. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, the risen Christ. Amen. The morning, morning colic. Holy and ever-living God, by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God continue to dwell in Christ that so, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. Amen. And as the writer of the letter to the Hebrews invited us, let us continue to look towards Jesus, who is the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. May you be blessed this day and may you be a blessing to others. Amen.